Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday, the Sabbath, February 4th, 2023. And I wanted to share um, a uh, little board that I've been adding to, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm completed <clears throat> with it. Although, I think I need to, uh, I do need to add one more thing. Um, so, um, I wrote on here every morning when you get up and throughout the day, you need to thank God and Jesus for another bonus day. You need to read your Bible, and I call mine Sweet Geneva, full of truths, which I was reading at three something this morning. Speak thy truths, which I constantly do. I have my entire life. Despite what people may say, love unconditionally, which I do with my whole heart. And it's quite apparent with the birds and the squirrels out this morning, partaking of the bird seed that I put out in the shape of a cross with three hearts. Now, I'm going to tell you, these were ravens, crows, big, big black birds. And they shared, and they didn't make a mess of the hearts, nor the cross. They daintily ate from it and I think the, the, the largest quantity I was up to was eight at one time. And one kind of st stayed on patrol like no you're not going to barb they're not going to do this you're not going to make a mess. It was the coolest thing I have ever witnessed. Animals and nature uniting. Something that humans need to start doing. Stop listening to the tyrant regime and start reuniting this world in love. Which, love unconditionally come now. Sow seeds of love. And that's what I do every day when I upload to this YouTube channel. And, and the next one that I have not added to my little wipe-off board is, which will eventually become permanent, is keep the Sabbath sacred and obey thy commandments. Two things I haven't put on here. And then the last thing, take a poop. Because whatever comes in your body needs to exit your body. So if you're eating food and you're not taking poop constantly, it is what it is. We need to talk about the facts of life. There's a serious problem. It might be that sludge soy less than and all the other chemicals that they're continuing to put in our food but you know that's just me thinking out of the box in the wilderness coming up to a year of being homeless and three years of well in man's eyes is homeless but i'm on my way home i'm not homeless when my eternal resting place is heaven <laughs> it's amazing how people watch for you to fall and they can watch me rise. That's the best poetic justice I could ever think of. And after listening to or reading at 3 o'clock this morning about idolatry, well, I decided to turn my sweatshirt inside out and use some duct tape that I had purchased in Waukesha. Well, actually, it was a gift. It was a tithing gift from a family in Waukesha. Love you guys bunches and bunches. You know who you are. Richard, Shelley, and the boys. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I'm done with the nonsense. I have got so many tabs in my Bible of things that I want to upload to tell people the truth of what I continue to uncover. It's like I'm reading a whole different Bible. Y'all need to get with the program and understand the difference with a real Bible and the ones that keep getting altered. And I proved it to three other people the other day when I read a scripture from Matthew and then read the real scripture from the Geneva Bible. So there may be some alterations in this one, but thus far I haven't even completed going through the Geneva 1516. I don't even know what I go to back behind that. Although one pastor challenged me to read in Hebrew. Well, I'm, I'm game to try anything at this point. If I can read that language, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. I'm out here on my own with the help of the angels of mercies that he keeps putting on our path. Bringing out the sunshine again on our fifth Sabbath, totally being 
completely surrendered to him, completely obedient to him, and taking this day as a sacred day. Now, there may be other religion, religious factors that, that they don't use technology or whatever. I'm still learning, so I may uncover in my Geneva Bible that I, I too shouldn't be using technology. Thus far I've not read anything regarding that. So I'm still in the learning stage. <laughs> Call it my own personal seminary school with him guiding me every step of the way. <laughs> I got a Hannah Grace move of my, <laughs> my little uh, easel that I'm using which is the top of my legs on top of a, a little <laughs> one of those floor poofs. <laughs> She is having a ball. Uh, so anyway, I just thought, since people's attention spans are so short these days, which is really sad, that you can't take the time, hey, hey, you can't take the time to listen to something that's biblical, yet you can watch hours and hours of nonsense and movies and, and uh, sitcoms and poison crap, brainwashing. I'm trying to unbrainwash what the damage has already been done. And if you really look in your heart of hearts, know this is coming from my heart. Directed under him, because I work for him. I don't work for man, I work for him. So, you can take what I say with a grain of salt, or you can put it to good use and start obeying the Sabbath the way that he has instructed us. You want to talk about something you don't want to not do? You don't want to keep the Sabbath sacred. It is crystal clear. Keep the Sabbath sacred. If you work and you tell them, no, you can't work. Why? Because it's against your religion. It's pretty simple. Friday, you get home before sunset. And you stay home until sunset tonight. That's being obedient to him. While following the commandments and not breaking them. What do you think your tithes are used for in those church? Think about that one. You think those tithes that you contribute every week, whether you go or not, are, are giving you a free pass to heaven? Well, think again. Those are not the tithes he's looking at. He's talking about the tithes between each other. Because we are the church. Not a house with walls, which is crystal clear in the Geneva 1560. We, the people, are the church. If you'd bother to take the time to learn the Bible, you'd understand what I understand. And again, thus far, this is what I've uncovered. So, remember, God is love. Jesus loves you. And so do Hannah Grace and I. Love to all bunches and bunches. I know.